everyone, this is Bryn with On The Clock and in this video we are going to cover how to delete and restore employees. I'm also going to explain the importance of deleting inactive employees from your account. Let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to click on employees and I'm going to choose view full employee list. Here I'm brought to my employee page and if I'm going to delete my test employee, I would click on the red circle with the X in it. Now that I've clicked on that, I get this pop-up confirming that I would like to delete this employee. I also see that I have this checkbox here that also tells me that I will be deleting future PTO entries and time cards. What this means is that any PTO or projected time cards that have been entered for the future will also be deleted from the time cards. I'm going to go ahead and click on delete employee and you can see that that employee has been removed from my employee list. If I notice that I accidentally deleted the wrong employee, I can always click here on restore employees and I will be brought to my deleted employees page. I have the option to restore them or delete them forever. I'm going to go ahead and click here to restore them and you can see that they have been added back to my employee page. Now, let's say that I would like to delete my employee and I have no intention on ever bringing them back. I would go ahead and click here on the X again and I would delete them. I would go back here to restore employees and then I would click here on the delete forever button. You can see that I get this pop up once again confirming that I would like to in fact delete this employee forever. Once you click OK, this employee will be removed from your account and it cannot be undone. We do not recommend that you delete an employee forever, but if you would like to, you do have that option. The reason why going through your employee list is so important in removing any inactive employees that you have is we do charge you for the employees that are listed on the account. So if you happen to have inactive employees that are no longer using on the clock, you will be getting charged for their usage. Simply by going to your account and going through your employee list and clicking on this red X to delete them, having them in your deleted employee folder will remove them from your employee list and you will not be charged. You do not have to delete them forever to avoid being charged for them. Another reason why we don't recommend deleting an employee forever is in case an employee is seasonal or temporary and you do plan on having them back, you do have the option to restore their profile and they will be put back on your employee list when you're ready to have them again as a working employee. This will conclude our video if you have any other questions, please feel free to live chat with us. You can also email us at support at ontheclock.com. If this video was helpful, please give it a thumbs up and leave us a comment. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and turn on push notifications to keep up with our latest videos. You can also find us on Facebook, Twitter, and LinkedIn. Check out the description below to learn more about On The Clock and our amazing features. Thank you for watching and have a great day.